Movie Time is produced by John DeSando. Listen to the full shows and read reviews online at WCBE.org. I'm John DeSando. I'm Felicity Beck. I'm Courtney DeSando. And this is It's Movie Time, an unusual show. <laughs> we have two. <laughs> we have two uh, former. <laughs> Who's to say we're former? <laughs> really, current. Once a cheerleader, <laughs> always a cheerleader. <laughs> Worthington High School cheerleaders who are inspired by the new film Palms. And just in case our audience hasn't heard anything about it, and I can't, I don't understand why. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is the Diane Keaton movie about some seniors who decide that they're going to back to their. Their, what they wanted to do all the time, which was to be cheerleaders. Either yes. they were or they weren't or whatever. <clears throat> so, Court, you here. All right, so you guys, you guys can start it out by just kind of reacting to what would be the, the first thing you think about. Diane Keaton, she's old as the hills. What is she doing acting like a cheerleader at a, at a senior... Resident. She's living at her final dying moment in, I think, quite spectacular way. I, I have completely to completely agree. I have to say, what one of us who was a cheerleader prior or didn't get to be one dreams of the day they could do it again. <laughs> I do think that most girls, when they're little, I do think it. there's something, it's just kind of like innate in girls that something wants to be a cheerleader. I think so. And back in the 80s, when we were cheerleaders, it was an innocent time. Being a cheerleader wasn't this competitive, triple back flips. Everybody I didn't, I couldn't do a back handspring. I couldn't be a cheerleader today. <laughs> we couldn't, we wouldn't have made no, the No, I wouldn't. No, we certainly didn't. But we had spirit out we the We had wazoo. a lot of spirit. Yes, we were ready to go. <laughs> go hard. Well, I remember when Courtney was the cheerleader, uh, because she was brainy, and going to be doing great things. Being a cheerleader, I wasn't quite sure. When I saw the gymnastics involved in that business, I got a serious respect for it. Yes, it is a, it's a true sport now. Like, it's cr over the it top. It's a is. serious sport now. It was more just a fun, um, so definite sure. girl camaraderie. Like, yes. we were talking, we loved just the friendships and the bonds and the memories that you make because you really were like a unique bond of or a, a unique group of people us. yeah we had reputations to hold up although some of us you know got in a bit of trouble <laughs> wink wink um but we definitely um i would say one of the things one of the reasons why i even moved to worthington was because where i lived prior i wasn't allowed to be a cheerleader well it's a good thing you found worthington because it was uh I tried it was hard. meant to be, Court. Exactly. All right, but the movie is Palms. The, okay. mo the movie is Palms. Let's just say to our audience, we're not sure it's going to be in theaters they, when well, they hear this show. By the time you get this, <laughs> it probably is not going to be out. <laughs> but it's worth seeing. It is worth seeing. Why? Well, I think it's a great, uh, I, I don't know if I should use the term chick flick. But I was going to say chick It flick. is because it's, um, it's all about just women backing each other, supporting each other, mm -hmm. and you don't always know what people are going through, but sometimes an event brings you together and it just kind of... And we talked about how we liked that there was no man, and the, you know, Pierce Brosnan type, you know, oh, right. taking her from what her dream was, you know, it was right. all about the women. Yes. You mean you don't count Chief Carl? Oh, Chief Carl! <laughs> I love Chief Carl! I love Chief Carl! <laughs> Chief Carl yeah, he was me. very entertaining, but... <laughs> But he wasn't a main character. He didn't have a ton to there do with no the story. There was no love interest. That was, yes. I was grateful that Played the young by kids. Bruce McGill, a uh, character actor done. whom I've always Yeah, he's, he's hilarious. And then Rhea Perlman, we were talking about her character. Um, the fact that you're not really sure how her husband died, dies, but she maybe had something to do with it. But it oh, was right, because right. she wanted to fulfill her cheerleading dream and he was having none of it it's so murder um, it should not stand in the way of being a cheerleader you got that yeah. right and you of know course what? your, your hard-nosed <laughs> critics will complain that you're really condoning murder here okay. yes <laughs> yeah but it wasn't, it wasn't worth so much it. that it was just you know she was just trying to go for her goal of being a cheerleader like you gotta you gotta do, do what you gotta do really it's cutthroat we understand <laughs> yes <laughs> Any other, any others that you thought were outstanding? Well, we did appreciate Jackie Weaver's performance. Love. So you kid. know Jackie Weaver. Yes. From, it's from, uh, we talked about this. Yep. Silver Linings. Silver yes. Linings. 
Good. Yes, she was, she, I thought her character was awesome, and I didn't, she didn't overdo it at all. She just seemed very genuine, and, and they seemed like... Real it, friends. Yes, it seemed like how a friendship would start and grow. It was very genuine, I yeah, thought. Yeah, Jackie Weaver looked like, to me, she was having a good time. She did. For sure. <laughs> I thought yes. everybody did. Yes. I thought everyone did, and we, Pam Greer was in it, who I thought, you know, yeah. she was small part, but was funny. Yeah. <laughs> but I, the star, Diane Keaton, I thought did a really good job. Never a huge, huge fan of hers, but in this I felt like, you know, she played it well. Uh, you know, it's it's definitely cheesy. It, it's not, you know, it's over the top. But I thought, you know, she, she just, she represented what I wanted her to be. Yeah. I've always liked her, and I thought that, I just thought it was a cool, um, you know, when, when your life is maybe running at out of time right i think right. it's it, it was a cute story of just finding a little bit of joy and kind of like giving it your all till the very end i liked that part about it i did too and i liked it and um spoiler alert okay it's no game of thrones as right. we talked about <laughs> but she does die at the end and i was glad that they didn't give us some cheesy she she made it through and and now right. she's re you know this this new life of hers because she's right. a cheerleader you know right she does. So. But no, I like though to have that cancer motif, which of course is not the first time it's ever been done. <laughs> yes, yes, is cheese. It was a bit. <laughs> I mean, there's there's definitely a lot of cheese in this. <laughs> yeah. So if you're overlooking that, and I had told Felicity before we went, I said it's gonna suck. We're gonna hate it. <laughs> and honestly, I laughed. I cried. Oh, I I definitely cried more than once, and I laughed definitely more than once. <laughs> I mean, it was it was thoroughly entertaining. Um, and the Martha's moves at the end, where they had all of the the montage of all the people doing yes. the Martha's moves, yes. I thought was really that cute. was very cute too. I what did that. you think about their performance at the end as cheerleaders? I thought they did a really good job. I mean, I couldn't have done any better than that. Yeah, I mean, for their uh, I, for their age, should I say that? Well, yeah, for sure. their age. But I mean, for their age, I thought they looked pretty darn hip and yeah. like did a good job. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, the whole contest thing, though, was bogus. Well, of yeah. course. And what I didn't appreciate the other, uh, their opponents' uh, cheerleading outfits. For some reason, those really bothered me. Right. They were <laughs> the so, halter tops? Yeah, or? they were so awful. I, <laughs> and Felicity thought maybe it was because they were trying to, you know, make a really big difference between the two groups. Yeah. But well, I, I, think, I think you're right. I think they cheesed them up. Yeah. Uh, to, I wish they would have made them a little bit more realistic. And, you know, just, to, I don't know. I don't know why that bothered me more than it should have. No, that's but a that good costuming point. That's really actually a good point. I was like, really? Yeah. That's all you got is a, a weird looking halter top? Right. And, yeah, that that part did bother me. But their costumes when they did the final cheer was really good. Yeah, yeah. they looked cute. A little old school. A lot old school. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Speaking of old school. Took us back. <laughs> yeah, go Cards! Right. Woo! Stand, yeah. up, stand up for a minute so that the camera of can course. see you. Ba -da 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 -da. Let's go! WHS! <laughs> All right. So, Courtney DeSando. Yes. Felicity Beck. Yes. The film is Palm. Palm. D O M S. Go see it really quick. Get it now. <laughs> it's time to apply a grade. Okay. I'm going to give it a strong B. Well, I don't want to copy you, but I'm going to do the same. Um, I'm going to say B also. Yeah, it's not an A minus. And your producer here is going to award it a C plus. Okay. Okay. And okay. well, for someone who really did not even want to go to well, the movie, a C plus is very good. <laughs> I said, let's do Palm's movie. He, oh no, really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it it was uh, it was, it was a feel good, good good movie to go with your friends and just forget about life for a little bit and be entertained. Do you, do you think Felicity might be recruiting some of her clients? from Worthington, okay. uh, perhaps for their own pom-pom. We would love, and in fact, I had tried to get the team back together to perform at homecoming, so if any of you guys out there want to have our own poms, we would love to have you get a hold of us. So call us at Wax Salon in Worthington. That would be awesome. Thank you.